Former UFC lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos says, I've reached the top of lightweight. It's been a hard journey to make weight every time. Now I want to fight at my best. I have new goals. I'm moving to welterweights. Dos Anjos is ranked number four at lightweight. He lost his last two fights to Eddie Alvarez and Tony Ferguson. The last guy he defeated, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, after that loss, moved up to welterweight in February, where he has won four times, is ranked number five in the division, and has his eye on a title shot after his fight this month. Whoever it is, number one contender, let's go. March to the Romans. You win this fight and you say to Dana, I want to fight with you. In March. In, in March. Yeah. That's that's the plan. The lightweight champion Conor McGregor has fought at 170 and has interest in getting a belt there too. Habib is considering moving to 170 in the future. Tony Ferguson said he could fight there too, as well as 145. Alvarez and Diaz have fought at 172. It was not an easy cut for Rafael Dos Anjos to make 155 pounds. The dehydration is dangerous and unnecessary. No I one's died. They they have in Brazil. I think if they the figure it out, it can come close to the UFC. But, but do, you know do, that Dos, do you know that Dos Anjos passed out for three fucking minutes before his fight with Eddie Alvarez, where he was unconscious and unresponsive? But did you three. die? He was on the door, bro. But did you die? <laughs> in terms of future opponents for Dos Anjos, the top-ranked fighters in the division include Woodley, Thompson, Lawler, Maya, Condit, Cerrone, Larkin, Kim, Magni, Story, Nelson, Hendricks, Masvidal, Safanine, Brown, and Ellenberger. The USC has released a new poster for their next pay-per-view, USC 208 featuring Home vs. Durandamy, and they announced a new fight for their event on March 11th in Brazil, Mauricio Shogun Hua vs. Gian Vellante. Belfort vs. Gastelum headlines that show. That was your MMA Digest Minute.